Praise the Lord. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's daily reflection is from Gospel of John chapter 6 verse 33. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Brothers and sisters, let's reflect on today's readings. In today's first readings, we have Stephen courageously who embraced death for the sake of his faith. His manner of death sparked a change in Saul who was converted on the road to Damascus. The blood of martyrs is the seed of faith. Jesus takes us to a further point of faith, that of himself as the bread of life. Jesus claims that eternal life is found in belief. Jesus reminds the people that miracles come from God, not man. In the same way, eternal life comes from God, not man. The true bread from heaven is Christ himself. God requires man to believe in order to see eternal life. When Jesus spoke of heavenly food, the Jews thought of manna, which had a limited capacity to nourish them. The people asked Jesus, What sign can you give our fathers who ate in the wilderness as it is written? He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you bread from heaven. My father gave you the bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. He said to him, Lord, give us that bread. Jesus said to them in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 25. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. So what does Jesus mean when he says, I am the bread of life? Well, simply, he means that we are not satisfied spiritually unless we have Jesus over our life or we cannot survive spiritually without Jesus. On our own, we will try to fill ourselves that which does not or cannot satisfy our deepest longings. Everyone has a need to belong, to have a purpose, to be loved. But so many people are looking to the wrong places to satisfy their need. It can be as extreme as looking to things like drugs or alcohol, but also may be written, may be seen that we, they do not at first seem harmful like social media or self-serving or self selfish ways. Jesus is saying ultimately he can only satisfy our deep, deepest needs and longings. He can make us feel full and overflowing with blessings. To live physically, we need bread or rice or whatever is our staple food. But to live spiritually, abundantly and eternally, we need Jesus who indeed is the bread of life. And who is always ready to welcome you at his table. In scripture readings, we have in Luke chapter 24, verse 30, 31. And it happened that while he was with them at the table, he took bread, said the blessings, broke it and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from the sight. This scripture verse tells us, of how we must open our hearts to the needs of others around us. 
in the little things that we can do and find the joy of giving the living bread Jesus. Christ shows that he is true bread. He is the soul what bread is to the body, nourishes and supports the spiritual life. He is the bread of God. Bread which the Father gives, which he has to be the food for our soul. Bread nourishes only by the powers of living body, but Christ himself is the living bread and nourishes by his own power. Every word proceeding from the mouth of God, spoken in many portions and in many ways, was part of true food for the life of man. Let us have faith in our relationship of trust with Jesus. It is faith that receives these spiritual blessings and thereby brings renewal and strength into our hearts. He provides us with grace and healings we need when our hearts are broken. From the Lord's word, we can see that the bread of God is his words, the bread which supplies us with life. Jesus claimed to be the bread of life that satisfies all sorts of human hunger. Let us together claim and take Jesus the living bread in our daily life by living in his word. Let us now close our eyes and reflect for a moment as we pray. Jesus, we claim your bread in our families, be our joy. Jesus, we claim your bread in our finances, be our strength. Jesus, we claim your bread in our health, fill us with wisdom and joy. Jesus, we claim your bread to be strong and courageous in every step of our life. Amen. Um,